Yo guys, it's Plume Darcher, and today we're gonna be doing some Geometry Dash content. Alright guys, for some reason the in-game audio wasn't actually like working. So Time Machine is a relatively simple level, but it's way harder than Jumper. I'm gonna look up a Time Machine copy that I can play because I don't wanna ruin my attempts or nothing. So yeah. Uh I'll I'll get you guys back to there in a second. Guys, this is a time machine copy. And that's the fast way, but I'm not gonna use it by the way. So, uh, let's just play time machine in practice mode, so I can uh, I can explain to you what the level's about. All right, so basically, uh, time machine is sort of difficult, but you'll get it after a while. So, I'll get the coins too if you guys want, but um, for now. Would just examine the level like it's just all basic platforming until you finally meet a new portal and i should probably save like right here yeah all right i, for I just almost forgot um so yeah this new portal mirrors the screen and that's pretty cool okay let me try to get this going though let me try to get that yeah it's it's not that hard for me anymore it used to be hard when i started playing this level but you know after all these straight flying you know it's, it's not, that's, it's very simple. All right, yeah, I started there a lot, so I'm really sorry about that. All right, so once you're right there, like, honestly, it's not that difficult for me, but I remember when I was, like, not that good at this level, I, it was really difficult, and I want to let you guys know, it took me about 200 attempts to beat it when I was uh, a noob, so, yeah. There is a coin up there, I'll get it soon. It's not that hard, but when you fall down to the ground, it becomes really hard. This part is, like, really... It's pretty difficult, and honestly, that's one of the hardest parts. But the hardest part is the last 10%, and I'll let you guys know, with actual commentary how I feel during the gameplay. Alright, so boom, boom, boom. This part is literally nothing until you get to that 90% kind of mark. This part can get a lot of people, and oh, I almost died, but yeah, it gets a lot of people. So you just want to make sure you practice that part a lot, but not as much as the 90% transition. I love the music though. Also, if okay, here's a trick. If you hold jump from the beginning of the level, you'll like automatically pass that first part. So I'll show it to you again. I'm not bullshitting you guys. Most people know though, so yeah. I'll just do it legit though. So yeah, um, pretty cool. And you want to make sure there's like little marks placed. You want to jump like exactly, exactly when you collide with the marks. So, yeah, uh, that's just another tip, like when there's little markers, like right there and right there, yeah, pretty cool. Um, that really helps, but not anymore, it kind of gets boring. And there you just want to jump when you're exactly past the middle of the block, like exactly. Even later than the middle of the block is fine, as long as it's after the middle of the block. And that's just the trick for that. And now this this part is significantly harder, but I don't really I don't really like think it's any more difficult than you make it. So yeah. And yeah, I'll die a lot more than on jumper, but I'm trying to go for the coins. So yeah, uh, the imaginary coins. So that way you guys know how to get them and stuff. Ooh, okay. Well, I clicked, nothing happened. So whatever. You just gotta, I have to live with that a lot. Okay, so I was playing um, a demon called Hexagon First Force Version 2. I was about 96% into the level, and I crashed and died just because my stupid mouse didn't like pick up some click or something. That was like a few weeks ago, but still, I vividly, I vividly remember it. I can describe it if I wanted to, but it brings back too many painful memories. You know what, should I go for coin? I think I should, it's not hard. Well, there we go. Yeah, just gotta have a mindset when going to that coin, a really positive one. All right, the rest of the level is literally a joke, honestly, except for the 90% mark. And that triple spike, okay, yeah, this level gets you ready for cycles, which is triple spike hell. Then other levels have triple spikes too, but this and cycles are like hell when you're a noob. And by noob, I don't mean like, really bad I just mean well you are really bad if you're a noob oh, I died there but what I mean by noob is like new to the game still kind of I don't mean in a defensive term so if you get offended by that stuff I'm really sorry but 
like, who gets offended by that stuff, honestly? Well, actually, you know what? I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Alright, yeah, but yeah, you guys get it. So, other than that part, really the only part that makes me tense when I was, like, new to this level, probably the flying parts. Uh, the end and this reverse mirror one that I'm about to encounter in, like, 10% or less. Yeah, less. Like, I wanted to get the coin, but I was like, oh my god, that's such a hard coin, but it's really easy once you know how to get it. Like, I swear to god, that, that, that's the easier than the first coin, even. Nah, I'm not even joking, this whole jump, that you know, triple spike card. By the way, um, another, another tip. Oh my god! Should I, like, literally just try to beat this level right now without talking or something? I don't know. It shouldn't be taking this long, guys. I really apologize. I guess it's just me talking and not really focusing. But this attempt will be the one that I'll beat it, for sure. I even have, like, positive... I, I am literally so positive I'll beat it on this attempt. I should probably shut up, like, right now. But yeah, this is obviously way harder than Jumper. And can't let go, also. I don't really think it's that hard though, and if you guys want any more tips on this level, don't worry, I have still have a few for you guys. Yeah, that part's pretty easy to screw up, but so is this one, and this one. Alright, there we go. I'll probably shut up, like, right now. I just hold jump for this part. Alright, that's cool. I like the mirror portals, they kind of add like a new, like, kind of feel to the game. Like, that's just me though. And this is how to get the new coin. Or not new, but... What? Okay, that's a glitch or something, because that shouldn't happen. I shouldn't be dying there. Like, that's a glitch. Or maybe I I maybe I jumped there? I have no idea. But that shouldn't be happening. That's another way to do the beginning glitch, by the way. The one that I just did. I know, I'm switching topics a little fast, but you know. Yeah, I don't know why. I, you know what? Just screw it. I'll just go for the first and second coin. I don't really want to have that stupid death happening to me again. So, yeah. This will, like, prolong the video, too. I'm not going to cut out anything, so that's pretty cool. Um, unless, like, I'm doing another level, which is harder, like a demon, I might have to cut out, like, stupid attempts. Uh, when I do the guides for them, like, club step and stuff, but I'm not going to do that for a while. So, yeah. I'm good. And when I do the club step guide, that will come out, like, three days for me to make, maybe. Or two days. I really think about that level. I had a fluke attempt, but it's not that hard. Like, it's just that one part that gets me. Um, in the middle, I think it's like this flying part or something. I forgot. Because I have not played the level in literally so long. But it's alright. Let's just beat this. Okay, that's literally where I die all the time. That was really close to the death, though. Like, if I ever died in the time machine, that would be the part. Like, not even the 90% card, honestly. That, just that triple spike just, just makes me so anxious, and it's kind of fun, though. Just to have, like, that feeling. Alright, GG. Yeah, I'm busting out my GG, bro. Alright, guys. Well, I'm gonna have an attempt after this, so I have to rebeat it again, but not that big of a deal. Um, I'm gonna be in the bottom right corner putting in like the faces and stuff, you know, from last video if you kinda get that. I think it's pretty cool to do that, honestly, and it's pretty fun. And so hopefully you guys enjoy. I'll be back soon. Alright guys, I'm back. Guys, I don't know what I did. So yeah, um I cut out the part of the video because I accidentally rated something insane instead of harder or whatever I was supposed to do, but it's not a big deal. It's not gonna change anything anyway. So yeah guys, get ready and I'm about to put the faces. So yeah, peace.
Guys, I'm back, and so thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Add me as a friend if you want. And also, check out my level. Um, I'll play it one more time. So, I'm not that good at level editing, and I also promoted this in my last video. Yeah, there's no shame in self promoting, right? Well, uh, hopefully, you guys check it out, though. Hopefully, it gets like at least maybe 40 downloads. I'm not that good at level editing, so yeah, I mean, uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy this episode slash guide. And uh, if you want more in the future, I'm definitely making another one today. I don't know if it will be uploaded today, though. Uh, because of the editing I have to do even if it's not that great of editing I still have to do it so yeah guys peace out and have a great day and subscribe if you want to I mean you don't have to but just subscribe if you want to now I'm joking alright have fun and I'll see you guys later peace